they say it's always darkest before the dawn. It was so black, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. And there was a flashlight coming through the window. When I holler through, who is it? And the answer came back, Colorado State Patrol, please open the door. And as they were speaking, her whole life was flashing before my eyes. I mean, from the moment that we found out that yes, we were gonna have a baby, to the first time that I held her, first day of school, and I just kept thinking, it's over. So it was about 5 or 5.30 in the morning, and they had come to notify us that Alexa had crashed. She was sitting on top of her seatbelt. She actually had it buckled behind her and was sitting on top of it. And so she was thrown out her driver's side window and thrown over 100 yards further than a football field and died instantly. There's nothing that ever prepares you for that. I just couldn't wrap my mind around the fact that she was gone. She was probably the best older sister that I know of. She was caring, she was loving, she was willing to do anything for her family. It was so hard that morning to see him come out and know that we had to give him the news that he was never going to see his sister again. And she had promised that they were going to do something special for his birthday. And that wasn't going to happen. When I see siblings together, it makes me feel kind of left out because I don't get to experience that. You know, I've thought of this a million times, and this, this conversation that I would have with her is that, honey, you're very tired, but please, that seatbelt's gonna be your only chance tonight. Please promise me that you wear the seatbelt because that's your only chance tonight. That's what I'd go back and do differently. She'd still be here. When I realized that it took the same amount of time to save the life as it did to take the life, it takes just that long for life to change.